W Post 8541 is hopping. Beer and conversation flow in the canteen. The event room is often filled with veterans and their families for dinner. I got you covered. But five years ago, this post was placed on suspension. We're $47,000 in debt at the time. That's when former Green Beret William Smith took over as commander. We went to a business month. We hired a professional bar manager, and he turned it around and took the bar from a loss to a profit. Now in solid financial position, the Post had to tackle another problem, facing VFWs across the country, dwindling membership. As we lose World War II and Korean vets, we're also losing the posts they once visited. Younger combat veterans are not joining up. To survive, VFWs need to attract the younger generation. Commander Smith thinks he has a plan of attack. The young veterans coming out, the Army, the Marine Corps, everybody has an eSports team now. So he set up a cyber cafe with gaming and eSports. Craft beers were added on tap, and they made the post more family friendly. It's one family working side by side. That especially stands out to the president of the National VFW Auxiliary, who came here to speak this month. So we thank you for that. The post also upped its social media game, Facebook, Instagram, relying on help from millennials. It's working. VFW Post 8541 increased its membership to 1,400, one of the largest in the country. Last year, it was named number one VFW Post. But VFWs are not all about fun and downtime. What they do is substantial. They help vets file for federal benefits and health care, life insurance, home loans, even educational assistance. They help vets succeed and cope. I strongly believe that we do more for veteran suicide than any organization out there. And the reason I say that is we do stay open 365 days a year. We're here for the membership. Five years after being in debt, the Post is now awarding $20,000 in scholarships and rewarding programs, local right? schools like the MacArthur ROTC, which presented colors at its recent meeting. City Auxiliary and our membership here is donating a $500 check and a plaque in appreciation for what they did for us tonight. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Smith has just been tapped to take over all 19 VFWs in our area. As commander of District 20, he plans to repeat the success. I'd like to lead by example and show that this is a model, and it's a model that works. A model that may be put in place across the country to help this oldest veterans organization continue its mission of service for those who've served. We're here for y'all, and y'all are here for us, and we sincerely appreciate that. Deborah Knapp, Ken's oh. Five.